All right. Where's the uh, prostitute story? Where's the dog story? Where's the, the clowns in prison story? Well, you read that one, Patrice, because I, I I didn't read this. Uh, this is time. just uh, shocking. Oh, yeah. And we got to get Ben in here because he found a story in the Boston Herald today that's pretty funny. This one, she wants me to start reading now. This is this is shocking. It just shocked me. I don't know why, but uh, in Mexico City, uh, half a dozen Mexican prostitutes have been arrested for using eye drops containing sleep-inducing drug to knock out and rob their clients, leaving at least five men dead. Oh, uh, that's what the newspaper says on Monday. But here's the one thirty one thirty nine year old man who survived the ordeal and woke up giddy and missing his wallet said he was careful not to drink not to not to let his drink get out of his sight but unwilling unwittingly ingested the drug after the the prostitute put uh, the drops on her nipples. So this uh, prostitute was going old school where they they they, they put something in your drink. They right. they were first putting it in the right. drink. But now Slip everyone, Mickey. But now everyone, the word's gotten out that you gotta watch out. Watch for that your crap. drinks, hey, right, you know right. I don't drink, but put it on her nipples, which made me gasp. That's the thing that made me, oh my god, like so you start fucking. just teething, <laughs> and before you know it, you're out, your wallet's gone. I mean, or like, you could be dead. It's like I'm, I'm, I consider myself savvy with the prostitution. Uh huh. And he, that had what not a surprise, occurred to Anthony. Me. Another one of our comedian friends into the prostitution. Not anymore, though. Jesus Christ. Not, yeah. not anymore. Just, used no? to be. Used to be. Right. Used to be. Yeah. But not anymore. I got a girl I kind of into now. Oh, really? Bit. Yes. Well, you got the sex Good. swing and you got the liberator that yeah, you brought she's home. A, she's a real last cool. week. Oh, the li <laughs> thanks for the liberator, fellas. <laughs> That was just fantastic, dude. <laughs> Basically, the sex couch. You know, those liberators started out as just a little cheese wedge, wedge that you would see in the back of the the magazines. Yeah. Now they're getting really involved, man. Yeah, it's, it's a great it's a great product, man. And no, yeah. bull, it's a I, we had some of the best sex we ever had last night on that. On the liberator. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. They need leather ones. Liberator, make leather ones. This a leather to be a leather be just a just so you easy, easy to wipe them down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why? Come on. <laughs> just comes in a squeegee. Let me tell you something. There's a sales guy named Will right now that is jerking off because you're talking about the Liberator like this. Well, he is jacking in his car as he listens to this. What's his name? Will. Will Leather Liberator. You're mm. talking to a real sex guy. This it'll be great. The it the cushion is great. It goes right back into place. I'm because I'm a big dude. Yeah. My girl's a little, little snaps right back. Got some. It's, it, it was at least at least a combined weight of 487 pounds on that thing last night. <laughs> <laughs> you did it last night. Last on the night on the Liberator, Jack. <laughs> nice. It was fantastic. Yeah, they uh, they prop up the girl nice on those things. Oh my goodness, it was great. Got we had a, nice a good time, angle, man. right? Yeah, man. So I appreciate you guys hooking me up with that. All right. But um, this is this was shocking, dude. This was like yeah. Yeah, because that's... it was just like I've done a lot of bad things, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's like this this I could have been knocked out big time. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. I've done some some stuff like that. Yeah, they could have uh, put some uh, drug. They, it, would would such a small amount work? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's eye drops, a little chloroform. <laughs> yeah. A little ether, a little it's mixture. Just a drop or two will do you. It's a dr eye drops that are used uh, as a muscle relaxant uh, in eye examinations to dilate the pupil. That's the stuff they're using, and they, I guess it, uh, it knocks you out. I wonder if it has a taste though. At least you'd be like, well, you know, damn bitch, your nipples taste. Salt it. <laughs> mm. You got some tired tasted nipples, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. And I hope he doesn't get it to hope he never never partook in a in, I in, in swear film. to you, not not never did the prostitute thing though. Not no, once. I never have either. Not once. Never. You, I have never I swear to you, I swear on my Family. Patrice, we've I have never we've admitted been a, a lot on the show over the last ten years. You would think w there'd be one story out there where Nothing. we would be talking about never, the prostitute. Never went close? to a prostitute. No. Not even close. Swung? They, never they swung? always Dude. they always scared the shit out of me. It's the, a psychological uh, not just the not just the diseases. Like I think right when I was becoming the age where I might have done that or should have been doing that. That movie. Uh, Ford Apache, the Bronx came out. With, 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 with uh, yeah. what's her name? Uh, 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 what the hell was her Foxy name? Foxy Brown. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ja what, Shit. What's what, Jackie Brown? Oh, uh, Pamela. Yeah, uh, Pam, uh, Pam Greer. Greer. Pa yeah. Slice that Pam dude. Greer. Yeah. There you go. And she had the razor in her mouth, and she put the guy up against the wall and was like, she's all fucked up, and she's going, yeah, I'm going to suck your dick. And, and she kind of nuzzles the guy's neck and just whoosh, whoosh, 
slit his throat, and I was like, wow. I remember I when never, you broke up with your girl a while ago, man, we was trying to get you to go. Just yeah, like, they were even trying to get me to go down to uh, Rio, right? Yeah, man. No. Nah. Wow. Not really? No desire. What's your, what's your vice, man? Huh? You have any uh, vices or what? Yeah, rollerblading. <laughs> You're just really know. a nice guy, huh, Obi? I'm not a nice guy. Well, yeah, I guess I'm a nice guy. A little wine. Little Is that wine. your vice? A little uh, marshmallows every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> occasional <laughs> Vicodin. <laughs> a little Java log. <laughs> um... <laughs> No, you know what it is? I've explained this, because the strip clubs is the same thing with me. It's a little weird with the lap dances and stuff. I need to feel like the girl likes you. Exactly. That's why Brazil is a great place to go. Exactly. So The GFE experience is yeah. fantastic. So with the the whole prostitute huh. thing, it's like, I know the girl is just get, you know trying to get money out of me, and psychologically, that does not that that does nothing for me. I need the girl to... What about your real girl? Is there nothing psychological that she's... That the, the real no, woman she wants should... me. That's the difference. Well, she wants you if you... Okay, not saying she's with you because you're opening. Opie, opening. Opening. Not with you because you're opie, but saying that, you know, women, nothing's free. Nothing is free. But to see the girls, the prostitutes, they have no, like, attraction to you whatsoever. They do. Your money. Yeah, exactly. And that's what, that's the problem I have. <laughs> it's the same. You got too many... She's not, she's... Too no, many ethics, man. No, it's not even that. It's not. A t- I'm, I, I didn't go there because it was never a turn on to me. Now you live in it's a not, nice place. I'm not even decent trying, living. I'm not trying to say that I got you know complete morals or anything like that. It was just something I wasn't into because I could. I just knew they weren't into it. On a on a uh, uh, a physical attraction level or whatever, yeah, what yeah, have yeah, you. I understand what you're saying. And then like I like going to strip clubs, but I don't like the the lap dance. The lap dance. I'm like, yeah. since the song's over, the girl that's looking like she really wants right. you, she's moving on to the next guy. It's like ah, oh, like if it, if it's if it's impersonal, you want it to stay impersonal. Don't pretend that you like. I me. hate the the pretending bullshit. But that's what Brazil is. I'll go there, great. drink beers, and 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 enjoy the eye candy without a doubt. But when it comes to the lap dances, and I know the girls just. Like so not into it, but for a song she's gonna make believe you're the the hottest thing she's ever seen. Blech. But you provide, man. That's what we do. I we can't provide. Be, but I can't be bothered by that. I can't be bothered. That's all. I understand. Yeah, Ooh. these guys are trying to get me to go down to Rio, and I was mm-hmm. just, I was like, nah. Go down. You should me. just one of these days we'll go, man. Just to just to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Can we? Just to, just so you. Can, I understand because I don't like it either. I don't like that feeling like you. I don't. You don't have to buy. You don't yeah. have to buy it. We don't have to buy it. It's just, it's not about buying it. It's about no, right out there. It's Dude, I understand why it works. I'm just saying for me, that's 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 the uh, that's the thing I can't get past. They treat you like they're really in love they with you. They do, and it's like you go, thank you. Like, why, but is there a party you, you go ever... and they're still doing this just because, you know, this no, is what they do for a living? No, nah, it's just because that's the weird. way they do it is they, they, they go into your whole primal thing of, of being a provider. You give them a couple of bucks. And they just don't do that business thing. They just become your girl as long as you need them to be. They need your money. You need their <laughs> this, them to be in your space at the time. Yeah. And it's like, don't you sometimes, even the girl you love, like my girl, she's good people, but so I just don't want to see her. And it's like, don't sometimes you wish you could just go, hey, listen, sweetie, take a couple hundred and get out of my life for a second. Come back when I need. Like, don't wow. you wish your money could just buy your emotional needs when you need them? Sometimes, you because your girl can't, won't leave. Can't you just go to another room for a little while? That's not what they you do. Mean, can get you get out of my life. Room? Wow, you're not really in love, then, dude. I'm in love. I'm I'm nowhere near that with with uh, my no, girl. No, I want her around all the time right now. It's not like maybe it'll change. I don't know. Right now, I I love my girl, but she's sick and like it's. <laughs> Her conversation stinks. She's a girl. How can you not? How can you like be in love with a girl like that? Do you ever say anything that's made you laugh? Honestly, I laugh at her, and she doesn't. (laughs) But that's when she. Your relationship's doomed. (laughs) But laugh at her. No, man. We've been together like almost four years. Wow. She's been with me for two years. I've been with her for like four months. (laughs) You're gonna be booking a trip to Rio by January. (laughs) That's not true, man. So wait, she she says something. Does she ever say something she thinks is funny? Oh, when she tries to be funny, it's. It's useless. When, when she does funny things and she and I laugh at her, she gets mad. But it's hilarious because she's being funny when she's being something else. When right. she's not being funny. When she's not trying to be funny. When it's she tries to tell me a story, like when she okay, like you heard the guy that just called in. Yeah. When he 
I, I'm, it's, 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 it's interesting when people go, like the guy, the, the English guy that is leading, Paul. Yeah. Paul Hey, website, go to da da da. You go, all right, man. You know, well, but the other guy was kind of like, yeah, I did it, and you know, it's kind of when she's like that. When she's being like Paul, she's awful. When she thinks she's being funny, uh huh. But when she's being like kind of like, huh, I heard this thing last night. It's like, oh, when she's being not funny, she's as funny as possible. <laughs> but I can't talk to her for more than thirty seconds at a time. Yeah, really. You know, if, you know wait, you, you guys probably Eskimo kiss your girls, don't you? There's a little cut. Obi a little okay. snuggling. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> Fellas, you got to stop that, man. If there was a reality show going on in my apartment right now, no one would listen to the show anymore. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. a monogamy guy, though, they, but that's nothing wrong they, with they, that. They, you know. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. You're a monogamous guy. You're an in-love com- type of dude, they man. They completely, you know, think I'm out of my mind when they listen to the show. If there were cameras rolling in at my apartment, yeah. people would be like, holy shit. So your girl's funny. Yeah, I, and I'm, yeah, she makes me laugh, without a doubt. And I'm not laughing at her. Well, I laugh at her sometimes, <laughs> but but she also makes me laugh. Yeah, like she she, she, she not, goes she goes listen to this open and, and, and it's like she says something you're like oh, 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 oh girl <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, oh baby you whoo! she's funny and her her whole family's funny I, I'm I, she just comes from a, a funny family yeah. fair enough you got lucky I'm you know I the the real answer would be to be cool guy here like yeah whatever no I bang prostitutes and stuff but the reality is uh, Jesus see I'm look really at this little cool underhanded guy. little yeah, who was that being bringing prostitutes look before I met her before I got with her we've been it's just been a process for four years right. Okay, and I like because she saw I still had a few women floating around, and she had got to the point where women do where they love you f- f- faster than you love them. You know what I mean? They just into yeah. you quicker than you're into them. So she looked on a text mail and I had some a text message from somebody. We didn't really go together. She says I can't take this no more. I don't, don't want to be with you. And I said, really, let's be honest, we're really not together. So <laughs> all right, I'll say this: we'll be together now. And it's been great. Once I decided, like, okay, I'm gonna have a girlfriend. She's good people, man. I love her, but I have to, I have to teach her how to be my friend, cause she's a girl. Yeah. They don't know how so to be you, our friends. But so, uh, mm, come wow. on. That's rough. But I, That's you, a did, you didn't rough. have to teach your woman how to be your friend, how mm. to be your girlfriend, not be a girlfriend, be but yours. Just, but be a friend besides your girlfriend. Yes, teach her how to be I a damn. You. That kind of just comes over time, though, you know? And like time and, like, and mental abuse. Once she starts <laughs> <laughs> Knock her down a little bit. <laughs> Knock her down a little bit. Build her back up until you No, because I'm sure, you know, some of the stuff that you're used to doing isn't so fun for her. Yeah, but a happy man usually means a happy woman. And not vice versa. A happy woman, <laughs> a lot of times, means an unhappy man. All right. Well, speaking of love, we, <laughs> we got a love story Hi. for everybody. 